what I love about Joseph Campbell and what it, he's mentoring me from his books is that he gets the essence of what it means to be human. And because myths, myths are public dreams, dreams are, um, I think, trying to think of the right term, but he had an aha moment about, um, I'm trying to remember it now, but myths are public dreams. Dreams are private myths. Oh my goodness. I have to, I have to think about that for a while. <clears throat> and that was his aha moment. And he went on a journey for the next four decades to write and capture all the stories of humanity from religions to tribes to wow. society. Wow. Uh, in, including fairy tales. And it, what myths are a way of making sense of what we don't make sense. It's, it's trying to make sense of the unconscious and myths have common threads. And that's why he wrote uh, the story arc called The Hero's Journey that's been used by some of the top movies in the world. Uh, George Lucas uh, used them to create Star Wars. Yes. And guess what? Those that the Hero's Journey story arc, and it can be a simple step by step of up to only five or six, or it can be 12 or 15, something along those lines. Um, it gets the essence of being human and it resonates with every one of us because myths are humans trying to make sense of what they don't understand. And uh, it gets to the heart of being human, which as we grow a bit, have a bit of experience, um, we reflect on a bit. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's fascinating to find out. So. And we all go, what drives us? I remember writing content for four years, five days a week, getting up at 4.30 a.m. and writing and creating content for four years. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going, where did this power come from? Where did this force show up? Mm, mm. It's almost like I was being called by a force. Yeah. And I think, you know, I think all great deeds and men and women are called. And I think there is a force that sometimes shows up. We don't know where it comes from or what creates it, but mm -hmm. then you've got to double down. And I think you've really got to uh, take the opportunity to, to just tap that. I, I, I remember those days. We were all wondering about you too, where it came from. <laughs> How is he doing this? <laughs> I, yeah. yeah I you were amazing. Got, I got up at 4.30 a.m. before the day job and I wrote for four hours and by 9 yeah. a.m. I'd written an email, I'd written the post, I'd hit publish on WordPress, I'd written the email and sent it out and uh, I'm still today um, trying to work out where did this, it was a primal force. You know, um, it's, it's, but what a, what a glorious thing if you think about the story that you talked about uh, Joseph Campbell and this aha moment that led to a, his path mm. and, and, and this sort of thing kind of led to your path as well. And uh, I, I think my path is, is still being, I'm still learning. I'm still refining in a way. I think the trajectory of my work over the last 10 years has been helping people figure out how, how do I become the signal instead of the noise? You know, I've been writing about influence marketing and content shock and how to develop your personal brand and you know, the new marketing techniques that, that matter to people today. And now cumulative advantage, how to build momentum, because it, it's so busy today. Even if you're great, you're being buried. <laughs> even if you're great, mm -hmm. you, you might not ever be, be heard or seen. And so we need to think about something beyond that. What about momentum? So that's sort of been my path. I don't know if it will be as as epic as as Joseph Campbell or or, or you, but it's interesting to think about what might be next. Mm -hmm.